Hello and welcome to the PCSC Smart Charger Installation Troubleshooting Guide. This guide will help you understand why your smart card reader is not working when you think that everything was done correctly and it's supposed to be working normally. Uh, there are several causes of problems with smart card readers. First of all, you have to make sure that the card reader's driver is installed properly. You will have to go to the website of the card reader's manufacturer and download the driver which is appropriate for your operating system and installing by following their installation uh, guide. After you follow the installation steps, you expect that everything works fine and you can verify uh, that by checking the system's device manager. How to do that? You right-click your My Computer icon, go to Properties, switch to the Hardware tab, then open the Device Manager, and find the section which corresponds to Smart Card Readers. It's called Smart Card Readers. On my computer, I have several devices of this type. One of them is not installed properly, and you can see that there is a small exclamation sign icon next to it. It means that something is wrong with the device and it does not work, so don't expect your programs to be able to see it correctly. The second device doesn't have such an icon and it means that it's supposed to be working as expected. First of all, you have to verify whether the driver is there or not. If it's there and you see the device listed without any icons, such as that one, you're one step closer to the solution. If the program which is supposed to be using the card reader still doesn't work, it means that there are other reasons and we will verify what else can be causing this. One possible cause is that the smart card service is not running. The smart card service is a Windows component which deals with the devices of the PCSC compliant type. PCSC is a standard used by smart card readers to interact with the card and with the system. To verify the status of the smart card service, you can follow these steps. Go to start, run, type services.msc to launch the service manager. Once the service manager is loaded, you can see the list of services as well as their status. They can be either started or not. The service is called Smart Card Service and it's right here and we see that its state is started. Now let us run a program which is using Smart Card Readers and see how that works in a particular example. The program I will be using for this demonstration is Descartes Sim Manager. In the left side of its window, we see a list of card readers available in the system. And as expected, there is a device in that list. If I press the read button, I can see that something is happening. The data are read from the SIM card, which is now connected to the card reader. It means that the driver and smart card service are running properly, so there is no problem with them. Let us try to artificially alter the conditions and force the reader not to operate correctly. To do that, I will manually stop the smart card service. Let me close the program first. Go back to the service manager. Right click the service and press stop. You can see that the system is stopping the service. Its status is now not started. So let's go back to Sim Manager and see what the results are. As you have noticed, there is no smart card reader in the list. If I go back to the service manager and start the service, a device has showed up in that list. Another 
problem that can happen to your system is that the smart card service appears to be running but the list is still empty. This can happen in several cases. For example, you have used a program such as Nlight to simplify and reduce or slim down your Windows installation by removing unnecessary services. At that point you thought that the smart card service is not necessary but then you started uh, experimenting with card readers so the service became a requirement. It turns out that in Windows 2000 you can restore the smart card service rather easily by simply running a command from the command line. Unfortunately that's not the case in Windows XP. Uh, most people think that the only solution to repair the smart card service on the Windows XP system is to reinstall Windows. However, I have recently discovered a workaround uh, which I have described in a tutorial, the link to which I will provide in the beginning of this, in the end of this video. The second problem <clears throat> that can be causing the misbehavior of the smart card service is that some other program tried to remove it or to update it. That other program can be anything. Uh, so you will have to figure out which software you've installed recently, which changes were applied to the system, and try to guess which of those changes could have affected the smart card service. Another possible cause is the installation of the Microsoft smart card based components on the Windows 2000 or Windows XP system. The Microsoft smart card based components are only designed for Windows 98. If you install them on a Windows 2000 machine or a Windows XP machine, you will break your smart card service, so you don't have to do that. If you did that, you will have to remove the smart card based components, and then you will have to follow the instructions which I will give in the tutorial mentioned after this video ends. Finally, there is one more potential problem that you may be dealing with when you run a program that uses smart card readers. Uh, there are many companies on the internet which propose cheap readers, $2 a piece or $3 a piece, even cheaper sometimes. But the problem with those readers is that they are not PCSC compliant. So if you have one of those readers and the program such as C-Manager or any other program which is designed to work with PCSC compliant readers, you will see that the program acts as if the reader is not connected to the system, even though the driver was installed properly and the device manager reports that the smart card reader is working properly. Uh, you may also see that the smart card service reports that it's running, so normally you should expect that the program should work. However, the problem is that not all smart card readers are PCSC compliant ones. If your card reader is PCSC compliant, then you will be able to see it in the device manager in the smart card reader section. If it shows up in an elsewhere, for example, in the universal serial bus controller section, then the card reader is not a PCSC compliant one. This is an important detail, don't forget about it. You may be lured into buying a cheaper device, because why pay more if you can pay less? But beware of the fact that the cheaper device is most likely not a PCSC compliant one, so you will have to buy one later anyway. That's why you have to be careful during your initial purchase. This concludes the tutorial. I hope you will find it helpful.